live, and now it's time to welcome our next star guest. It's Matt and Leith from WWF. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Great. Good, good, Great. good. Now, um, listen, we've got loads of text, but before okay. we ask you all these questions from our viewers, we're going to show a little clip of you in action. Yeah. Bro. But remember, folks, you can't recreate anything that you've just seen. These guys are professionals. Don't try it at home, all right? Don't. And you'll be doing a bit more of that tonight, won't you, on uh, Skybox at 7 o'clock? Absolutely. Rebellion. Very excited. We're in the UK. Rebellion. UK only pay-per-view on Skybox office tonight. Rebellion, yeah, cool. though. Look forward to that. Well, I've got, um, I've got an email here, and it's from John. And he says, do you like coming to the UK? What advice would you give anybody wanting to be a wrestler? And what do you both think about the WWF's women's division? Oh, That's three. Three-part question. Um, we, we love being here, actually. Normally, all the rest of the guys will fly right in, work the show, and leave. So we actually got to hang out for a couple of days, which mm -hmm. was nice, see some sights. But um, I'll speak about the women's division. Right now, we don't have a belt, which we should be getting back pretty soon, hopefully. But we do have more women now competing than, than we ever have mm -hmm. in history, yeah. full-time. So I mean, good women. Well, yeah. I was about to say, there's not a mark on you. However, you've got your black eye. Right. You. Well, how did you do? Um... Whenever I get in trouble, she just takes up on my slack. <laughs> no, actually, actually, that was just an accident. We uh, had a little miscommunication in the match the other night, and I was trying to fend off somebody. Actually, she caught an elbow, and I apologized. I bought her a lot of gifts, and it was really did sweet. You? Did, did you? Took, what took, did he buy took you? Took her to a nice dinner. Oh, did you? Yeah. that's where you are. I've got one here from, um, from Steph from Manchester. What's been your favorite moment so far in WWF? Uh, favorite moment for me would have to be winning the WWE Tag Team Championship right. with my brother Jeff, the Hardy Boys, and also when we had our first ever ladder match at No Mercy against Edge and Christian. It really turned it changed uh, turned the corner for us. We became instead of WWE wrestlers, WWE superstars. It really elevated us. Right, yeah. Cool. I, I was gonna say uh, my favorite moment was when we actually had our first kiss on TV. And that but was my he favorite had to talk about together. fighting. No, look at that. She's trying to be romantic and loves it. I've got one here from Nikki G. It says, "I love you, Matt." And then right. it says, uh, if you guys hadn't have become wrestlers, what would you have been doing? Actually, I would have been an engineer. I was going to school for engineering, really? and I dropped out from engineering to uh, become a full-time wrestler to pursue it. Oh, yeah. You know, I was broke for a long time, but finally I made it, thank God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I, I would probably actually still be trying to be in a band. I played, uh, traveled with bands as a roadie, and I played bass and played in some bands, so really? I would still be trying to do that. Yeah, I think yeah, so. Cool. Okay, this next one's from Jessica, and she says, do you, do you this is for Lisa, okay. do you come up with all your funky fashion ideas yourself? Yeah, people mm -hmm. ask us all the time, who told you to dress like that, you know, who, who tells you, and, and we just do our own thing, actually, you know, some, some people have more direction if they have a specific character in mind, but I just kind of, um, you know, find stuff, and we're limited on the road where we can, tra you know, where we can pick up stuff, so I'll usually get something and then alter it, take a pair of scissors with me wherever I go, and cut it up and make it make it my own yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. excellent i've got one here from danny wright he says how long does it take to get into the wwf well it took me actually i started wrestling in september of 93 is when i uh, after i became officially trained and started taking bumps and i signed a contract with the wwf in april of 1998 and I got on TV around September of 98, so uh, roughly a little over five years for me, which right. is good. A lot of guys struggle for eight, nine, ten years before really? they get a shot. And there's a lot of hard work as well, I presume. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. You know, it's not only just the physical, you know, the physical toll it takes on your body wrestling and being slammed and being beat up. Mm. You know, it's so hard traveling, you know, we travel, yeah. we have odd hours and it's hard to sleep, yeah, yeah, yeah. keep your body in shape, mm. you know, and eat on the road. How long do you spend training a week? Uh, it's like any, any free moment, whenever we can. Hotel gyms at midnight. Um, a lot of times we're in the building all day. I'll run the stairs in the building. Just kind of make use of whatever whatever you really? can because the schedule is so crazy. Yeah. It's not, and we're in an unfamiliar town, so you don't necessarily know where a gym is to work out, and we don't see home that often. So you got to make do with what you can. Mm -hmm. Any yeah. opportunity possible, we're trying to keep the old body in shape. Good. Oh, he's Finally, lifting me up before that. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, and very very quickly. Who do you think is going to win the WWF Championship tonight in Rebellion? That's from Phil Wilson. I'm going to have to go with Rocky. we got to go with the WWF's The Rock! We're going with The Rock yeah. tonight. Do you agree? Well, we Rock. will see. Do you think The I'm Rock? Does. The Rock, do you reckon? Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for coming down tonight. Enjoy this evening. WWF, everybody. Yeah. Yeah.